What up guys? My name is Crystal Faye and welcome to my channel. If you're one of my subscribers, probably you know that I film and I edit my videos on my smartphone. I have noticed that most of the comments that I'm getting on my YouTube videos are like what video editor do I use? What thunder maker do I use? And so on. Even on my Instagram and on my Facebook page, I keep getting the same messages. So I figured, why not film a sit-down video and answer all the possible questions that you may have if you want to start vlogging like me using my smartphone. You wanna keep in mind that I am no pro. This is these are all just based on my experience and if you can tell I only have over a hundred subscribers but yes if you are still interested and you want to take it from me please keep on watching smartphone for vlogging simply because I don't have a camera but I think even if I can afford to buy a camera I would probably still prefer to film and edit my videos with my smartphone because I'm a very handsome mom and it's more like more convenient yeah. for me. Like say for example, I can put down my baby to sleep while I am editing my video with my smartphone at the same time. Oh. Unlike if I film it with a, an actual camera, I still have to transfer it to a laptop and then edit it. One more thing is I don't have laptop. Oh. I have a netbook which is to my knowing you can't edit a video from there. I started vlogging on January 2017 with my iPhone 5 with its uh, phone camera. The quality of the video was okay, but of course the back camera is way better, but I just want to see myself on the screen while I'm vlogging, that's why I'm, I used the front camera. And then two months ago, my iPhone slipped out from my hands. I don't you really stupid. know what happened that time. And then after I found my iPhone very unresponsive. And then a few days after, I noticed that the camera is getting blurry and blurry. And that the battery had swollen. <laughs> Not very safe to use. But I didn't stop from there because I have an extra cell phone. <laughs> Android, a Cherry Mobile cell phone. It's a Philippine brand and it has the worst front camera I have ever used. The last time I have used the Cherry Mobile was May 17, 2017 and then after I stopped from there. I, I, I say to myself, I, I can't push it anymore. I can't produce a content. I start vlogging again with my Oppo F3. The one I'm using right now, I'd like to use the wide-angle camera. It looks more neat and cool to me. And I was using my iPhone 5. A video editor that I used was Ghostflies. It is very easy to use. The only problem that I can say probably with that application is that their built-in music were not all non-copyrighted music and it doesn't say on the application which one is copyrighted and which one is not copyrighted sometimes i have to delete what i have already uploaded on my youtube account and then i have to edit the video and change the background and then re-upload now that i'm using android phone i am currently using video shop it doesn't have watermark i can do sound effects like this like this and like this i can even download music or sound effects on youtube and convert it into mp3 format the only downside that i can say for this 
a video editor is that I can do voiceover unlike with ghost Life. When I was editing my video on my iPhone, I used Spark Post and unfortunately it is not available on Play Store and so far that's the best ever maker application I have ever used. Now I am using PixR and what I do is I screenshot a part of the video that I think I can use as a thumbnail and then edit it into my pixel. I can't recommend any intro or outro maker to you because I don't use one. There are a lot of intro and outro templates on YouTube and you can just download it and edit it and you're good to go that's what i do make sure you give credits to the owner this is actually my current problem because i can't add uh, photo stickers or uh, video stickers with video shot. what i was doing before was I would edit the part of the video that I would like to put the sticker, the photo sticker or the video sticker and I would do it on my pocket video that's a different video editor. After that, I would export the video to the Ghost Splice application and edit it together with the rest of the videos. The thing is, pocket video from Apple Store is different from um, Play Store. You know, is it just me? I found it very user friendly. So yeah, I think that's it for this video, guys. I hope, I hope all of the frequently questions were answered. If you found the video helpful, please give the video a big thumbs up. That would really help me to share this video to those people who want to start YouTubing with their smartphones. Please support each other by subscribing to one another. Subscribe to my channel and leave comments like your video was helpful and I just saw. I promise I will subscribe to your channel as well. Follow me on my social media account. My Facebook is Crystal Faye. My Instagram and my Twitter is Crystal underscore Faye. So I think I covered everything. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and till next time. Bye! One more tip is you can do your outro on Pixar. You know the usual outro with all of your social media accounts. Say for example you want to put an Instagram logo together with your username. There's a search bar there and all you have to do is to type in Instagram logo and all the Instagram logo will pop up.